G'day legends, welcome back to another Friday RV install. Now, today, you're here because you want to see us show you how to install the Y62 behind the dash module mount. And it's a very, very easy one. Oh, it's not too bad. First thing you need to do, go to the fridge, grab a guilty pleasure. For us, it's beer. Hopefully for you, it's alcoholic. Now this week, we're on, ooh, spin him round. Ta-da! The old pirate life. South Coast Pale Ale, I quite like this drop. Now, it's a ritual. If you don't have a beer, you're having a bad install, so make sure you have a beer. I tell you, that is a good bloody drop. Righto, so moving forward, what we need for this install is a T20 text bit. Let's move that real quick on you, sorry. That's all you get. We're also gonna need a 10 mil socket, I believe it was. But I'm lazy, so. But all right, right, right. And we're gonna get into it. So we're gonna step over to the car. I'll move this out the way so the cameraman can come in on it. We're gonna open the car. First step here, we're gonna grab our beer. The old sunny wipe, get rid of them. Old hand sunny. Put the beer in there. It's a little spot for it. So first step, drop down this. So normally it wouldn't come down that fast because there's actually a string on this side here. You can't see it because it's too tight to show you, but you'll see the string coming through there. And you're just gonna get in there with your finger, pull it to the side and bloody doink and just pull that string off with your finger. But it's very tight in here to show you and there's no light, but you'll figure it out. So I slide this thing to the side, just pull the string forward with your finger, index finger, and just run your finger down the end of it, just pops it off and happy days. And then you've just got to slide this out to the side to actually get it off. And that pulls that one out of the way, pretty easy. Next step, we need to go, we've got six screws in here. Actually no, before I do the six screws, next step is this one here. This one just pops down like that, and you pull that out. You see the screw fell out, so I didn't put them all the way back in, so I was being lazy. So that one there pops out, it's very easy. Just pull it down at the front, it clips and slides out. Right in there. Now get my T20, pull my screws out. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that one's already out. These I've already loosened off, so I'm not here all day undoing them. Woo! Drop it like a tart. I think so sticky in there, I eh? just wanted to stay. Right, so now I've got them out. There's a whole section here that's a bit clipped in. Let's give all that a bit of a pull. There we go. And that come, oh, forgot about, oh my God. Did I just break that? So don't do what I did there. I should have unclipped that then, I forgot about it. So now I'm gonna clip that back in. So here you've got a clip, just, you know, just do what I did there and pull that bit out. Fuck it. It's easy to get in that clip out, let me tell you. Pull that one back in there. Now the next step here is, we'll grab ourselves a beer. Cheers, legends. Mmm, no, oh, my God. <sighs> so refreshing, right? righto. So, next step, pretty simple. We've got two, hang on a sec, L. Righto, so, I'm gonna get my 12 mil that I told you was a 10 mil earlier. It's actually a 12 mil, and we're gonna undo Right here, up under here, there's a 12 mil bolt. Is that the right one? Yeah. Right there is a 12 mil bolt, so we're gonna back that one out. Get him get out of there. Put him out of the way. Now we're gonna go and get ourselves our bracket and other bolts. Nut and bolt and bolt that we've got. Four mil Allen key as well. Now, This goes, mm, and this will be. So this bracket goes this way. So I obviously don't need to show you how to put this on because there'll be a series of different bolts and slots there that you'll bolt your bracket to and slide your thing in, which will be manufacturer. So next step here is, you'll see this is gonna line up there and then we're gonna go out here and this tab here actually has to go on top of that. So we're gonna go out wide Get it up top there and get that there so it comes around the front. And ta-da, and you'll see that just goes in. 
Then we get this bolt that we pulled out before so we can hold it in position while we dick around with the other stuff. All right, so that's gonna hold it there now. Get our longer bolt. We're gonna find where that goes. That one there. And we're gonna put him in his place. I'm gonna sort him out and get him, get him fired up. This is terrible because I can't see. There we go. Found it. Get that one up there to hold him there. And then here we've got nut and bolt. Alrighty. So that's a 10 mil up on top of there. So I've got my little 10 mil socket. Get loose. Righto, so that one's bolted. So we'll get him tidied up. There we go. Uh, that one's done, you just got to hold your tongue right to get him done. And this one goes over here. Tighten this one up as well. <clears throat> and then... That's weird. I thought I had that started. Oh, that was weird again. Oh. <laughs> so, lefty loosey, righty tighty, guys. And I, uh, well, I, was just saying, I, was, I was lefty loosey when I was trying to righty tighty. Oh, look at that. That was a piece of piss that time. So, now that's in. <clears throat> very, very easy from there to also, I've got you. We also do this mount too. Spicy boy, so if you need a place for UHF handpiece, that there on the webpage, you will see it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> right. I <so>, say, <clears throat> good plug, good plug. So, moving forward, we're basically going to do we basically need to do everything in reverse now. We need to find a new shed, <laughs> so. Whatever come out last goes back in first, follow the order. So, last thing that came out was this bad boy. Now, here's that piece of string I was talking about. <laughs> See his little loopy doopy? Got him? So, that's a little bit I was talking about. Now, this goes back in this way with your six screws again. So, and don't forget, it clips back in on this side. So, we just got to line everything up. It's pretty easy to put back in. Get your screws. Put them bad boys back in. Now, I'm not going to fully do it because I've got to pull it back apart and get that bit out. <clears throat> but you get the, you're going to get the gist here. Cool. Put one in down here. Ta da da. All right, now that bit's done. Get our other piece. Oh, God, I can barely reach. Short arms. Get this bit here now. See these three tabs here? One, two, three, look like that. They're poking up. We've well, got to put those underneath. You'll see there's a spot for all three of them. You're just gonna line them up, push them in. Oh, I got it wrong. And then your clips will line up. Now boom, clip back on. Now the last piece of the puzzle is the Gear glove box, which I struggled with just before, and like struggle. So the first thing you'll do is slide one side in because you've got these big tabs. First thing you'll notice is with these tabs here, so we're gonna get them back in. So feed this outside one in first, slide it all the way over, and then you should be able to get enough to get the other one in, and that'll get you up and in. And then we need to find the spot where it clips in. Oh, he's now at this time. Guard him and then slide him the whole way across because I've got it. Oh, I've done it wrong again. So before you do that actual bit, uh -uh, you need to keep this one out like so. Get them both. Oh, there we go. So then you can reach in there before you clip the bottom in and grab your little cord. He's got to get it. Right angle of the dangle. And then you can try to get him back on. 
You know, I'll put it on later anyway because I'm gonna pull it back out. How do I wrestle with it again? I've only got it on successfully once. It's bloody, bloody tricky to say the least. So anyways, then you gotta line them up, clip them back in so it works up and down again. And ta-da, job done. Done easy, legends. Right, so that's a wrap on this one, guys. If you like this product, in the description down below, you're gonna find yourself a link over to our webpage where you can grab yourself one of them and see all the other badass products we make for the Y62 Patrol and every other vehicle that we're doing. Now, if you really like this content, make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Good or bad, we love it. And of course, hit that little notification button, bing, at the top. And if you really, really like this content, you might like this one down here or that one up there. Right on, ladies, Pirate Campco TV is where you find all the shenanigans other than the installs. Thanks for the support. We'll see you next week. Doo! One more thing. Bye, Prado.